South Africa, the reason that we are today celebrating, um, when I think next year we'll be celebrating 30 years of democracy, is precisely because we started with a dialogue. We built our country on negotiations in 19, before 1994 in the 90s, dialoguing so that we could then now be able to um, get a bloodless or uh, um, yes, a bloodless um, revolution or whatever it is that you want to call, precisely because we believe in dialoguing. Dialogue is quite important because if you don't dialogue and you just go in and start working, you would then now sit and think that there are no subjects like robotics that are introduced in schools or there are no special schools that has to do with IT, whereas they are there. But you'll only find out if there is dialogue. Because someone else, a 19-year-old, would come and say, this is where I studied. Then I would be able to ask, okay, where is it? So that I can also be able to tell others to go there. Because where I stay, it's not there. Therefore, it becomes important that we have a dialogue. It is for this reason that we didn't just come here to give you a speech. We came here to dialogue. You know, we're talking township economy, and when we talk township economy, we're talking different sectors in the economy. We're talking the township tourism economy, the township retail economy, we're talking the township build environment and construction economy, the digital economy, but people are excited. We are now able, we've managed to take the bricks to the people. Now we had a very, you know, very interesting and a very, you know, progressive dialogue, and then we have been rolling these dialogues uh, throughout. As you know, the biggest uh, economies in terms of the township are in Gauteng, most especially the majority of them are in the city of Johannesburg. You're talking, uh, you're talking, uh, 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 what you call, Soweto is one of them. But we are very excited and we really help with the support, you know, uh, from the city. Uh, we're saying, you know what, uh, this is very exciting and very powerful. The businesses, the township businesses and the township entrepreneurs are very excited. This is the beginning of the journey, but we need to be able to take the township economy to the uh, the Africa Free Trade area, you know, to the AFC FTA, but we are now also taking the township economy to the global stage. Hi, my name is Karabo Slepe from Slepe Creations. I'm the founder of Slepe Creations. This is our very own invention. It's a mobile shower that you can move with. The goal was to change the narrative around bathing in plastic disease. What if it's a scot or what if it's in this? So to say our people can, can be able to move with it. It does not require any plumbing. You can move it to wherever you want. Number one, as I can show you the shower, as you can see, it's space saving. It's very small and compact. After every, every wash, you are able to, you are able to fold the base. So as I show you, so we open the base. So this is the base of the shower. Over there you can see. Then also the column, we've got our very own column that you're able to open up, so this makes the whole shower. Now the question is that then how do you heat water? Let me take it to the side. So now heating water, you can use any source. You can use the gas stove, you can use the electricity, you can use anything, you understand? So what happens, it will take that warm water, then pull it to the shower itself. Then the question is that how does the plumbing work? So now, as you can see now behind here, we have what you call a slap box. Slap box will pull that water from any source. Wherever the hot water source is, it will pull it to the shower. Let me just show you. As you can see, now we are pouring up the whole shower using a car, a car battery. Can pour it by battery, can pour it by solar, can pour it by electricity. So now as I open here, so now we've got our, our, our clean water tank and our waste water tank. So it's taking the clean water, now it's coming here, yeah, wherever you're able to use it and close it. Then the waste water will come in here once it is used. The, the waste water from the shower also comes here. At the end of the week, be able to drain that water, put it in the bucket, throw it outside, one, two, to save water, you can reuse it in your toilet, three, you are able to use it in garden, in your garden, you understand, so that we save water. If you can come this side just to show you how it works, then when you come this side, as you open the shower itself, it's able to pull the water from any water source, whether it's your bucket, whether it's your pot, you know, whether it's your keys, it's able to pull that water from there, so as you can see it working. Then after every use, you're able to save space. So for example, after you finish using it, you're able to fold it up in terms of to save space so that you can reuse that space. So then sleep shower. So coming here to this event, to the Texas Pricks event, you know, it is giving us platform 
So we are able to meet people that can help us to take it to the next level. It's able to take us to the level where we are able to enter new markets in terms of media coverage, in terms of meeting us with different people that are, we are able to collaborate with and other businesses and entrepreneurs that we are able to collaborate with. Entrepreneurs like people that run campsites, because this you can use in campsites. People that you can collaborate with, people that are doing events like funerals and weddings, people that can hire this for funerals and weddings. So this event gives us that opportunity to access new markets, access new collaborations, and access new partners. As you can see, I fold it down, and this is just how it works. As you open it up, it pulls water from anywhere. Good afternoon, this is Lopi from B3 Funeral Services. We are here in Soweto at Sud Restaurant, where we came to the BRICS introduction to the township economy by Texa. It was hosted by Minister um, Rubini Ramakhopa. A great day all in all. And I mean, uh, as a guy who operates in Soweto, a business that operates in Soweto in B3, we really enjoy the fruits that our uh, city has assisted us in, especially the city of Joburg, through city parks, and the professionalism that they've always assisted us with in any times during the COVID times when it was pretty hard and bleak. Um, the city of Joburg played its part and we really are blessed to be from Soweto, operating in Soweto and operating within the city. But at the same time, there is scope and measure for growth. We hope that the city will definitely be working with us in terms of what we've just come through for here today, economic uh, growth within the townships. I'm sure that we will be getting backings from the relevant MECs uh, as well as MECs as well for economic development, where we would like to be more involved, more engaged and have bigger engagements like these on a regular basis so that they can know and understand where we are and where we want to go and we could be better integrated in times. But all in all, a great day and we really enjoyed ourselves. Thank you very much.